All right, so secret layer commander angels they're just like us but cooler and with wings uh, you notice I've got my, my cats in frame as usual or one of my cats anyway the other one is probably gonna th fight up here in a minute so if you notice any like weird cuts it's probably because I'm cut out my cats throwing hands Here we got in the box. Oh, that one's got like sparkles and shit. <laughs> oh, they've improved the quality on the on the wax papery shit. Okay, that's new. It was like this weird tissue paper before. Hold that. Oh. All right. So it's got feathers, two feather like swords crossing. Twenty twenty three wizards serial number. Name product secret layer commander deck. It's got that weird kind of faux leather finish they put on shit. Holy diver. That was I was worried about breaking it. All right, so garbage. Angel on the thing. Really, cat? It's because I'm doing something over here. Both the cats have decided to come hang out. All right, let's check out this pinup. So on the back of it, it's got the angel logo. Yeah, what's her face? This is actually smaller than normal. Normally it's a four square. That's interesting. Deck itself. All right, we're gonna put you back in here and you will go to the shelf to live eternal. All right, let's see what we got. Well, there's the, the foil non-foil. Look at that curl. All right. Bruno the Fading Light, Gissel the Broken Blade. I wonder if these are our commanders, our alt commander. Because they're the ones in thick cardboard. I recast the spelling return, target angel or human carf, the graveyard of the battlefield, flying vigilance, flying first strike, lifelink, leave, and end step if you both own, uh, apparently, I think this one would be the commander, both own Gazelle the Broken Blade and a creature named Bruna, the Fading Light, exile them and then meld them into Brizella, Voice of Nightmares. Which is the 910 Eldrazi Angel. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Flying first strike, vigilance, lifelink. Your opponents can't cast spells of mana value three or less. <whistles> Spicy. Eldrazi Angel. Hmm. Mm -hmm, hmm. We got the two in foil. Printing line right there, that's disappointing. A little bit of a stamp issue right there. Yeah, April. Yeah, kitty. Right. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. She's chewed on cards before and shit. We're not. We're gonna keep an eye on you, lady. Archangel of Thune, Court of Grace, Commander's Plate, 
Angel of Finality, Angel of Ruins, of the Ruins, Arden Angel, first time printed in cardboard, four-sided, if you upkeep of Arden Angels in your graveyard, will four-sided die, the result is one return Arden Angel from the battlefield. So I want to keep a four-sided die, which I was kind of hoping there'd be one in here, unfortunately. Breathkeeper Seraph, that's pretty looking. I like that one. Scott M. Fisher, Howard Leon, Greg Staples, Virgo Menda, Menzies, Alexander Makov, Tyler Jacobson, Don Breaker Kramer, Tian Nugan, Audrey Harbinger, Angelic Field Marshal. Oh, yeah, here's the commander. Okay, we're into the reprints now. These are the original, the new cards. <clears throat> I like how that's a reprint. Like, it's got the stamp on it, and this could have just been from the set. Archangel of Tithes from Origins, Amaria Shepherd from Zendikar, B of Z, Zendikar Rising, Angel of Destiny, Kaldheim, Spellcrease, Fierce Sky's Blade. Oh, we're going back! We got some Ravnica. That's pretty. These cards are gorgeous. I like the number of foils we're getting here. Treat of the Angels, Shattered Angel. That's gnarly. Some Phyraxian shit right there. Sunblast Angel. Oh, uh, hey. Ooh, special lands. Oh, that's pretty. Put these in a custom, custom stack. Cause I'm actually gonna try to keep track of how many of each I own. Oh, the manufacturing lines. Sad face. Wait, no, there's three lands total. Four. Yeah, there's four types of planes. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, cause this is. Neat. Fucking neat. This is the type of shit you should be seeing in secret layers. You know what I mean? I guess this is like for 30 bucks. How many, like, you know, when the professor says five lands for $30 is a ripoff, right? So I guess this is what he means that we should be getting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd hoe out for a Transformers commander deck. Uh, the secret layer. Well, this one's got a mark on it. Oh, that's like a misprint. It sounds like a burn. <clears throat> you need a scuff. Right there, maybe, too? Oh. There's a mark right here, and there's a mark up here in the corner. <clears throat> it's got where it hit, and then you got around it. I wonder if that's... Huh. I guess if I'm making a mono-white deck, I know where my land base is. This shit is badass. They just keep coming. All right, so this is our mana pool. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna have to count those out individually uh, and add them to my collection just right. Okay, so I guess these are the commander. I guess it's that partner commander.
<clears throat> Alright, here's our ch Oh, oh, oh. Sigardia's aid. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, buddy. That's pretty. Alright. Sidney's Blessings, some eight token angels from AFR, secret layer angel tokens. Um, what's on the back? Johnny's Pride Mate. Warrior, soldier, 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 spirit. That's weird. I wonder why they have the AFR angels when they could have just printed more of the. Hmm. <clears throat> now it's. Sword Plowshare, Path of Exile. Ooh, Marble Diamond. Nice. Very nice. Mind Stone. Permedallion. Nice. Boots de Swift. I guess I should be sorting these out by our rares. Mary the Sky Ruin, Hollage Boy, Karu. Wow, we are really going into the well. When Karu comes into play, return an untapped planes you control to the owner's hand or bury Karu. To have to add. Oh, and a colorless mana. Okay. We're getting two for that one. Nikos, Thrine to Nyx, Path of Ancestry, Sarah Sanctuary, the Johnny, Strength of the Pride, Bishop of Wings, Book of Exalted Deeds. Oh, look at you, little bud. You got some play. I have, I, I've got this one, and I've always kind of wondered what I should do with it, and then I just never did anything with it. Donna Hoax, Mantling Wave, Gaeta, Font of Hope. I think they should have did a custom printing for her. It'd be pretty sweet. Keeper of the Cord, Kindred Boom, Nikos Paragon, Search for Glory, Speaker of the Heavens, Talia's Lancers, Cosmos Elixir, Endless Altars, or Atlas, that's nice. Nice by Tome. Sword of the Animus, yep, Tome of Legends, Urza's Incubator. Wow, we're getting weird with it. Nightwish's Banner, Arch of Orakaza, Bond's Enclave, and War Room. We got some interesting shit in this box, eh? Lots of surprises. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm actually... As far as, like, what kind of cards, the, the weird mix, the, the, odd, the odds and ends, I'm kind of impressed. Um, yeah. This is, uh, fairly snazzy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm liking what I've got in front of me. The Monarch, well... Yeah. I will get this... Look at this done up, we'll get this added up, and we'll look at totals. And look, also, I'll play it a few times, and we'll see if it's any good. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the coolest thing that Wizards has released in a while, since Lord of the Rings. This, angels, they're just like us, but cooler, and with wings, deck is badass. Now mind you, when I played it, I, f I fucked up. I played it wrong. Instead of having this one that's like, when you cast the spell, you return target angel human creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. I picked her because she's cheaper and does more. Flying first strike and lifelink. So I was like, man, at least I get some hits in. It worked. I got third place in a commander game. You know, I played like maybe like four games with it. And then like the other three games, I put her back in. I'm keeping this deck. This deck is amazing. Um, I need to do some tweaks though. Some tweaks need to be done. 
Specifically, there is only a cleansing Nova. We're in white. And the commander can pull the other half of the meld creature out of the graveyard. This is in fucking sane. So I'm just going to pump this. Mo I'm going to get rid of like ha a third, half of these creatures. Like this deck is good as is. Like don't get it twisted. Um, I would just maybe, maybe a land or two get rid of, you know, cr get these down. Because right now there's what? Eight plus seven plus seven. So 14, 22. There's 30 lands. I might tweet this down to 24. Because I had like a land. I, had, I I was swimming in land. I was getting land. I was, I was actually mana flooded. So, um, I'm thinking get rid of half of these creatures and get rid of some of these lands and make this into a Voltron meld commander deck, which is like, I'm going to put all the board wipes in, right? Cause you've got farewell, wrath of God, Armageddon, Cleansing Nova, which I would probably, no, is this, what's, no, that's not right. That's not the ones in here. I don't know. I can't remember which one's in here. Pretty sure it's this one. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But like, basically just like, I don't like how this is going. I'm going to blow up the board turn one. You know, on my turn. Recast Bruna. Which is expensive, but like... Mm, you're, you're swimming in mana over here. Like, it's it's dumb how much... Like, Karu, this card's OP. Like, it's it's a two-for-one special. It's dumb. I loved it. I loved it. Um, and I got good old Amara the Sky Ruin over here. Like, this is some good shit. Good shit. Um... I haven't added any of this to my collection yet because they have yet to do the thing with the thing. Unless these are all list cards now. Switch my turn. List, the list, the list, the list, no. Um. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is I'm like, oh man. Or even like, you can make a really good angel deck out of here. Like, I guess like put Bruna in the 99 and like have uh, the Avacyn that has like infinite protection to all your creatures, right? There's an option. I'm gonna put her in there anyway. Um, I've got Dami Mami Avacyn, the Archangel one. That's the flip one. It's pretty OP. I mean, there's a couple different ways you can take this, but like. It's a good, this is, this was a good time. It makes me feel the opposite bad feeling that, like, the Planeswalker fucking Commander Masters. Nah. Nah, I can't rant enough. This is worth the money. It's fun. If you have most of these cards already, you know, because, uh, like, let's update the cheapest if you really want to. Get rid of all these because the, I mean the, the cards are so cool. They're all f most of, like half the deck is foil. Yeah, man. Look, trying to buy this thing even as with its cheapest printings is still like three hundred dollars. It's a hundred fifty dollar deck. Just buy the goddamn deck while you still can. Um, oh, it's so good. But with that. I thank you for watching, and you have a good day.